Okay guys, in this video we will going to learn how to make helical spring, a real helical spring. So first we need to go, go in to start mechanical part design. Enter the name helical. It's not necessary. It's just for your convenience. Right, helix or any other name. Okay. So now we need a point. So we will go to sketcher window, create a point and give its alignment from the vertical axis chin. Okay, so from vertical axis is 50 mm and uh, okay one minute we missed uh, the horizontal alignment. It's all because we want to make perfect spring its pitch and height we can easily calculate that's why well. so now we have to go in shape and in generative shape design go and click helix and there you have to specify the point and the axis around which you want to see your helix give proper pitch a height obviously it would be greater than the pitch like for example 40, uh, 45 and you give 90 then it means 2 turn of the helical spring reverse the direction and click ok so here you have a wireframe of helical spring repeat the same process at the end part so just little bit extra stuff you have to do is to create in the law section you have to give a start and the end value what we are doing here exactly is uh, we are creating the end part of the helical spring that would be slightly compressed whose amplitude will going to decrease if you have seen a bike spring you have definitely seen all this that in the middle the pitch is very high but at the ends it is quite low so here we will we have created and now we do the same process at the upper end too okay so at this point again we will make a compressed section of the spring so the start value will be from 25 and end value, end value will be quite less 10 mm is enough ok and we have given the in 2 revolution it will achieve that kind of dimension so here we have all wireframe of our spring now you know what we have to do if you have a wireframe or a path and you want to make 3D, you just have to use reverse sweep command. So before that, we need to join all these uh, different different helix which we made. Like in total, we have made four helix. So we will select all these four helix and click join, so that it will work as a one unit. And we will take a plane perpendicular to the curve of the helix and on that plane we will make a circle or a cross section of thing which we want to see in helical beam. So in our case we are making a simple helical spring so we'll make a circle we will assign the dimension and again we will go to part design and use rib command Okay, we just choose pulling direction so that uh, the helical spring will be uniform, it won't be twisting. So here you can see that it is looking perfectly fine, like a real helical spring. So now we, um, we want to make finishing at the end part so that it rests on the bottom and the foot covering pad so just we will make a circle and and apply pocket on the upper side okay as you can see that the face has been removed and similar operation we will do at the bottom side so we will choose a mirror tool to do this we will select the pocket okay, one minute. Okay, fine. Uh, now it's okay. Uh, I can change the pocket length from the offset plane offset. 
So now it's looking good. I make it in a round figure. So now I will select pocket and apply mirror and select the base plane. Which in my case, that is small. Okay, you can see here uh, now both sides there is a smooth planar surface for the ends of the spring. Now we will make the other part of the spring holding system like uh, you have seen in your bike the resting pad and there is a upper section which is connected to the damper so we will not go in detail we will just make a rough overall schematic of the part so here I am making the base assign its dimension up to your convenience Fly shaft. Okay, that's cool. Now I will a little bit increase the size of the cylinder. Okay. That's fine. Now I will make the other part. section to see exactly uh, where you are sketching your profile the good thing in CAD is that you can at any time update your dimension of your sketch Axis as vertical axis. Okay. So here we have a total spring system. Thank you. So that if you really enjoyed our video, then keep the subscribe and like button. Yes, don't forget to share it among your friends.